my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you five kids lunchbox recipes. Now my son is about one and a half at the moment and I'm starting to make him some lunch boxes when we go out for adventures during the day. He's always eating all the time so I've always got to have at least a snack or a meal on hand for him to eat. So I'm going to show you five really delicious recipes that work for kids of all ages and in fact I eat them too, they're super delicious. It's always good to make your lunch. It reduces the cost on food, you can be more experimental, and I just love walking around with a bit of Tupperware. The first recipe is a baked sweet potato. So I've just baked this sweet potato in the oven for an hour. So you literally just prick it and then pop it into the oven. And I'm just going to slice it in half. And I'm gonna pop it into my lunchbox. And then we're just going to make a nice filling to go with it. So I've got some black beans here, literally just a can of black beans that are already cooked through. And we're just going to grab a handful of them and just sprinkle them on. I've also got an avocado that I'm going to cut up into little chunks and then mix that through with the black beans as well. flavour and kick, I'm going to add in a sprinkle of cumin and paprika as well, which will just bring out the flavours for this delicious dish. And there you go, first lunchbox recipe, super simple, super easy. You can throw in like a tangerine with that, some apples, some fruit, a little handful of nuts to go on the side as well. The next recipe is just a sausage, broccoli, brown rice pasta dish with a little bit of Cajun spice. So I love having sausages, they're kind of something that is always a win with kids. I always go for like low salt, uh, gluten free sausages and they're just a great thing to have in the fridge. So I'm just chopping this up into little sections and of course you could do this with chicken, you could do this um, with tofu if your little one's vegetarian, but this is just like always a winner if Shay's going through a slightly fussier period pasta, sausage, broccoli, I mean it's like every kid's dream. So I slice up the sausages into bite-sized chunks, I mix it in with some cooked brown rice pasta that I'm just stirring around and then some cooked broccoli that I've just steamed. And then we're just going to add in a little bit of spice which is the Cajun seasoning which is just gives a little bit of flavour to it. I think it's just always nice to add spices to recipes just makes them more flavorful, more tasty, more likely for your little ones to eat all their veggies. Pop that into the lunchbox. And then to the side of that, I'm just gonna pop in some strawberries and also a tangerine just for extra fruit. I love these bento boxes because you get like a little bit of everything in them. The next recipe is sweet potato falafel. So there's a little bit of cooking in this one, but really simple. I've just got some cooked chickpeas, which you can get in a can or a jar. I'm putting them in to the blender. I'm blending that with some baked sweet potato. So I baked two sweet potatoes from before and I've just got half a baked sweet potato. I'm putting the skin in there because the skin's got tons of fiber. So much goodness for our little ones. Also adding in some oats and then some cumin as well for spice. I'm gonna blend this all together. I've got a baking tray and I'm just gonna drizzle over a nice amount of olive oil. This is what we're gonna bake them in. So traditionally falafels are fried, just means they're a lot more oily, but I like to keep them quite light and just bake them in a small amount of oil. I've got the mixture all combined here. Just grabbing a tablespoon of the mixture and I'm just gonna roll it roughly into a ball in my hands. And then I'm gonna pop it into a bowl of sesame seeds just to coat them, to get those really nice traditional kind of Middle Eastern flavors coming out of it. Obviously, traditionally they don't use sweet potato in it, but I'm all about getting more vegetables into our little ones' lives and eating the rainbow, and this is a fantastic way of getting them in. So once they're fully coated, I'll just pop them into the olive oil. I'll dip it one side, and then flip it over the other side, ready to go in the oven. So I'll repeat that with the rest of the mixture and then we'll bake it in the oven for about 20 minutes until they're nice and crispy.
out of the oven and smelling awesome. So I'm gonna just pop in some pitta fingers, which I've just got some nice belt flower pitters that I bought. And I think with grains, it's just about mixing it up. Yeah, sometimes use whole grains, sometimes use we uh, just normal wheat, sometimes use brown rice, sometimes use spelt. I think it's just kind of getting that variety into our little ones because each grain has its own nutritional benefits. You know, shea isn't gluten-free, but I do sometimes use gluten-free flour or gluten-free um, pasta just to kind of mix it up a little bit. Um, so I've popped the pit of fingers in and then I'm just gonna add in the sweet potato falafels. And this is 100% something I would make for myself as well. And then I'm gonna add in some cucumber sticks as well, which are always good to chomp on. Some carrot sticks. And then a nice dollop of hummus. So the next recipe is a classic wrap, and you can't go wrong with a wrap in a lunchbox. So I've got these really nice brown rice wraps, or you can get lovely tortillas, or you can make them at home if you're up for that. So I'm just gonna do mine with hummus, avocado, peas, and carrots. I just think that's a really, really nice combination, and then I'm gonna do like a kind of lemon and olive oil dressing over the top of it. So first step is I'm gonna get some hummus, just gonna dollop it into the middle, and I'm just gonna spread it down the middle. I tend to kind of focus everything in the wrap around the middle third of the wrap and then use the other sides just to wrap it over. Um, so I've done a really nice hefty amount of hummus. Hummus has got a good source of protein, lots of healthy fats in there. I mean, it's so delicious. Who doesn't love hummus? Um, I'm then gonna put on a little bit of chopped avocado just to sprinkle over. Again, really good source of healthy fats for our little ones. Another nice like dose of veggies in there. And then I've got my julienne um, for carrots, which I think is a really easy way of kind of making carrots into really small slivers. So I'm just gonna directly do it on there. And that just makes these lovely little matchsticks, which are just really easy to eat. I'm gonna add on a sprinkle of peas because if I put peas in anything, my son eats it. Um, so just literally a handful of peas goes in there. So it's a super healthy vegetable wrap, which I love. I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice as well. I think the freshness of lemon juice really brings out the flavors. It will keep the wrap nice and fresh as well. So a good squeeze of lemon juice over that. A little drizzle of olive oil as well. And then I'm gonna sprinkle over some black sesame seeds. You could use normal white sesame seeds or nuts or anything else just to add in an extra little bit of plant protein, an extra bit of crunch. Doesn't that look fantastic? It's just fold up the bottom, doesn't matter which end, and then wrap it either side like that. We've got a lovely wrap like this. There you have it, five delicious, healthy recipes for your little ones that don't take too long to make, are super simple, rich in vegetables, super tasty, and hopefully your little ones will love them. I hope you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, bye.